Bubble Pump gifts here. We got a five below haul. Let's do it. Bubble Teenies, welcome back to my table. We got a lot of cutesy things today. Ugh, I love that store. Five below. I've been there about a billion times, but I seriously, I don't think I've ever done a five below haul on the show. So we are doing it right now. And we're gonna dump this out. Let's see. Voila, this is my findings. I mean, these are the cutest things ever. And if you're noticing and taking a look at my table right now, everything is like for slime making. We got glue, we got glitter. I even found these adorable little containers to, woo, to store the glitter you make and a bunch of other goodies. So what do you guys see? We look at them one at a time. See what we got here. Let's do it. I cannot control myself. I got this stuff yesterday and I really haven't taken a look at it. It's been in the bag. So we are gonna begin and look at everything here. Now this one is glitter glue. I mean, it looks like a tube of toothpaste. It's actually a really big size. I don't know, I think it was like $2, I'm not too sure. But look at the color on that. It's got all the glitter, so, so sparkly. All you have to do is add a little bit of borax and water, and bam, you got some red slime. Oh, cannot wait to try that. Love it. Next up in the slime aisle, I found some glitter. I found these little glitter shakers. These are like little stack-in stores. I've never seen them, but look at the color. It is metallic gold. So, so shiny. Three different kinds, like different shapes. I mean, how cute would this be if you made like a clear slime or you can make like a clear pink or purple and pop these in there? Just so cute, so, so perfect. <laughs> they had so many different glitters, but I just went for this one because it was so golden and so fancy looking. Love that. I am a little bit curious, how do these stack? I don't know. Let's see what's going on with these babies. Okay, so, whoa, they're like little Legos, look at that. So you get this one, so, so cute. You can either like carry them separately or you can kind of like stack them up however you like. Ooh, they are shakers. Unbelievable, look at that. I think I'm gonna make some slime today. I'm gonna make some clear slime and pop some of this in. See how sparkly I could get it. Woo! Amazing. Besides that little toothpaste bottle of glitter glue, I found a four pack. Now these, I do have to say, are kind of tiny, but they are so cute. They are so pretty, I can't even take it. They're like these little swirly bottles. We get orange, pink, blue, and like a fluorescent yellow. And I'm not too sure what I would do with these. Probably make like little slimes, but they are just the cutest colors ever. I love how they have color and glitter mixed in. Little glitter glue. They kind of look like glue sticks, but they actually look like lip glosses, like those swirly glosses. I just cannot take these. They are so cute. Ooh, look at all the glitter in there. These are like a medium sized tube. You could definitely make slime with these. I have made slime and putty with these kind before. Not these colors, but this kind, and it really works. You just add the borax, water, or you can add a little bit of liquid starch. But I'm loving this color. Look at that orange. These are really cool. Here is the final DIY slime ingredient, this neon glitter glues. I mean, they must have had 20 different kinds of glues, but these ones just like flew out at me. Look at these colors. We got pink, orange, yellow, green, and blue. These are really good sized bottles. They are almost like a big, big to medium size, and you could do a lot with these babies. Check them out. Fishatinis, take a look at my glitter glue. I mean, these glues are beautiful. They are so, so pretty. I mean, they are jam-packed with glitter. We got all the cool, like, neon colors. Very good-sized tube. I mean, this one was tiny, but this one is a huge. It almost looks like a ketchup or mustard bottle. So there's a lot of different things you can do with them. Obviously, I'm gonna use them to make slime. Some kind of a slime, maybe like a rainbow one. And I don't know any other store where you can get five of these for five bucks for all of them. I mean, great price. Can't wait to see what I'll do with them. a little caterpillar. Here are the colors. I just did a little sneak peek of how they look. I mean, they look like lip gloss to me. Glittery gloss. 
but you can definitely see the difference in the color and they are gonna be great for some slum, I know it. And actually, I've been kind of curious how red and sparkly this little tube is. Whoa, wow, <laughs> that is unbelievable. It looks like Dorothy's ruby slippers from The Wizard of Oz. It is just so jam-packed. I don't know how they put so much glitter in there. I gotta go back and get more colors. I think they have blue, silver, gold, and maybe like a green. I love that. There it is. This concludes the glitter part. The glue and the glitter, all the little ingredients to make slime and putty. This is it. Let's move along. Once you little squishy teens whip up the slime, you always need a little container. And it's five below. They have, oh, they have so many containers. I got these two. I thought they were cute. They're clear. They're kind of like plastic. And, ooh, they were a dollar. And I also got these a little bit bigger. They kind of like click on top of each other but they are just like the perfect slum storage containers. Very nice. So I got some random stuff on my table. All of these things don't kind of go together, but I picked them up. They have so many cute things. If I below, I could literally fill the basket in like five minutes. So I got a little fidget spinner. I got a little fart machine. What is going on with this? And I'm not sure if it works. Gotta see. Before I don't got a squishy, I got a little fart machine. This thing, the only way to describe it, it looks like a whoopee cushion. Woo! It's basically an electronic whoopee cushion. It's got one, two, three, four, five, six buttons. Let's press them. Eek! only is this like six different fart buttons it's got six different sounds ew like different kinds of farts oh this is so gross hello we got a burrito blaster the short butt power that's gross we got the earth shaker the excuse me long winded the gas leak black give me a break Burrito one. Sounds like taco Definitely not one of my normal purchases. I mean, I don't think I would ever buy something like this, but I mean, for $3, you can't beat it. I think it's so, so funny, all those crazy little noises. But how funny would it be if like a scent popped out of here, like one of those little minions guns? We get some little tooth smells coming out. Crazy. Like amazing farty machine. There's another little random thing I found there and it is just so cute. At first I thought it was a squishy. I mean the hair is kind of squish, but it's more like a bouncy ball, like a plastic. And it is the diva. Oh, this don't look like a diva. It looks like a bouncy ball with eyes and stretchy, stretchy whiskers. I was kind of disappointed it wasn't a squishy, but I mean, come on, it's so cute to hang from, I don't know, maybe like a beach bag. I don't think I'd hang this crazy little thing from my purse or my keys, but I just love the hair. It's so squish, and I think it lights. I think it's a little light up, oh yeah. Oh, why does she look so angry when she's lighting up? She looks like evil. She's an evil diva. There you go, my new little keychain, my little light up diva. It's so, so cute. I love it. I love those lips and hair. Oh, that's gross. That's gross. And as I was looking at that little fart machine, this thing was right next to it. And it is a stretchy ear. I think I've had like a stretchy finger and a nose. This doesn't look too real. I mean, it really doesn't, but it is squishy. So I just had to get it. Ew, look at this thing. It's bloody. This literally looks like a chicken cutlet, and then it looks like a gummy snack or something. Like, not in, yeah. While I was checking out at the checkout at Five Below, they had probably, I don't know, like 50 different kinds of fidget spinners. But I set my eyes on this one, a little pink glow in the dark. I mean, I have a couple of these, not a glow one. And for five bucks, you really can't beat it. Check it out. You can literally like hypnotize with this. Look at that bubble. 
Looks like a pink flower. So girly. Yeah. You little pink fidget spinner. Love you. Woo, woo, yeah. Ever get tired of these things? Oh, this one is awesome. I gotta check and see if it glows. But it is some crazy pink color. I love it. They had orange, they had blue, they had so many glow ones. They even had one with like pizza on it, little pizzas. But I just went for this pink. I don't know why I love the pink color. Hey little fidgetinis, here it is. I mean, I flicked the lights off, but it is the morning, so it's kind of bright in here. It's not really glowing, but I know it will glow because my friend has one of these and it really works. So I'm just gonna have to test it later, but it is really good. Gotta get more colors. Moving on from all that crazy little stuff, those little gadgets and fart machines, I took a little stroll down the beauty aisle. Now I think Five Below has like three or four different beauty aisles. Tons of nail polish, tons of makeup, lip balm, but I saw these nails and I had to get them. Look at these little cupcake press-ons. Let me just pop this open, kind of curious. Oh, they are adorable. And sometimes the press-ons are like super tiny, but these are a really good size. They definitely will fit my fingers. Look at the cupcakes and sprinkles. You get a few extra and you get some glue. So definitely I'm gonna try those on. Probably I'm gonna put them on tomorrow. If you little sweetie paws know anything about these nails, press-on nails are like kind of pricey. If you go to Walmart or Target, they're kind of like eight or nine dollars. So this was half price, four dollars. They had tons of different little designs. Cupcakes were the cutest. I think they even had ones with like little pizzas. I mean, they were just too cute for words. I gotta get more of these, but if you're interested, they are selling them right now. Almost forgot about this one. I found a crazy art, crazy slimy creation kit. I guess you could basically like make your own glow slime, which is kind of cool. I have tons of these kits. I've never actually tried one, and I am really curious if it's gonna work. Like what kind of ingredients do you get? Is it like borax, glue? So in a couple days, I'm definitely gonna be making a video on this and testing it out, but this was $5. I think it's such a cute little kit and it is crazy hard. I love that brand. Lots of good stuff from them. So, mix and make ooey gooey fun. It includes white glue, slime making powder, and one pot of glow colorant. Crazy. I was so curious just taking a little look at the ingredients. It actually doesn't come with borax. It comes with slime making powder. Never tried that. Definitely have never made a slime with some kind of a different powder. So that should be kind of cool. Gonna do that very soon. I oh, cannot wait to show you this. Probably the best things, my favorite things that I got in this entire haul. I found putty. I found some Uranus, some planet putty. I love these and I've never had this one. I also have, never heard of this, lab putty. Putty people. It did have different colors. They basically had all the different planets. This one looked the cutest. And with this lab putty, they had two. They had green or they had orange. I went with the green. And this one almost looks like a Mr. Potato Head. I don't know how it's gonna be. We have to check this out. It's magic, shimmery, shiny, mushy, and moldable. Just what I like. Oh, this thing sounds totally complicated, totally complicated, magic, shimmery, shiny, metallic, green, mushy, moldy, not your ordinary, gotta have it, out of this world, love putty, black, that's a tongue twister, sorry else. And as I'm holding this little container here, all I could think of is that crazy Aaron's thinking putty. It seemed kind of like metallic little can, except it's more colorful. I love these little pinks and neons, and whoa, look at that. Mr. Potato Head. This is like little pieces. So, so cute. Look at that. And here is the good stuff. Ooh, it's kind of firm. I think you gotta swerp with it a little bit. It'll get softer. But it is super metallic. Wow. Oh, so, this thing is basically gonna look like a Mr. Potato Head, like cowboy. You get a cowboy hat. You get potato head eyes. Potato head mouth. Look at the nose. And one green hand. So red. And swimming flippers. 
judging by the looks of what I see here, I mean, it does not get cuter. I have never seen a can with all of these pieces. I don't even know how they fit inside. Oh, it's gonna be good. And I gotta go back, they had the orange one. Probably had little different accessories. Ooh, it's actually not hard. It's nice and it's super stretch and soft. After squishing this around, one little thing I have to say, this was, I think it was $4, three or $4. This is such a better texture than that Thinking Aaron. Sometimes the Thinking Aaron's putty is like, I don't know, it can be up to like $20. And it's hard and it's hard to mold. This is so soft and fresh and it's got this metallic color going. I mean, I've never seen, I have never seen a can of putty that was this good. Let's pop in those little pieces and <laughs> see how this little guy turns out. I think it's gonna be so adorable. Let's do it. Instead of making this guy like a round little ball, I think I'm gonna make it like more flat, probably stand up a little easier. Should we get a pop in those potato head eyes? Oh, I'm getting not take it, look at that. Looks like a little splatoon. Oh, so sleepy. <laughs> That's too much. I put a little hole there. That looks like a little mouth already. Should we go ahead and put his little cowboy hat and his little mouth? Look at that. Pop in that nose bubble. He looks like a human nose. This little squishy guy is looking like a pickle. I don't know why he looks like a pickle with a face. Let me put on those little swimming flippers. What is that about? So he could stand up a little bit and he's got two different arms. He's got a long one and a little green one. Oh, the arms don't make sense. Like, what's going on? One is super long. And one is little, like a little baby hand. only about 30 seconds and we got our little putty guy. Look at him, he's melting. Oh, you guys, this is so, so cute. I have never seen a little putty figure because I've had a few of them with all of these pieces. We got a long arm, a little short one, and I'm loving that cowboy hat, the nose. But he's melted, he's melting already. Oh, you did not just do that, it's a pickle cowboy. This is pickle cowboy, our new friend. Put them back together, now! And it's finally time to pop open the Uranus putty. I have never had this one. I think I had Neptune, Mars. I think I had all of them, Earth. But this is such a deep blue. It's so glittery. Can't wait to squish on it. Mm, look at that. Ugh. Little teenies, take Ooh. a look at this planet putty. Ooh, it's such a good piece. It is freezing cold. Why is this always so cold? I don't know. It is shimmery. It's kind of like a pearly color. And it is just so much fun to squeeze. Oh, this is like the original putty. These are like the first ones that came out. They've been out for a while. The little guy is watching. He's actually melting. Mold it back together and make it a planet again. So moldy. It has a smell. It kind of smells like grapes or blueberries. I mean, as far as I know, planet putties are not scented, but this one is. Ooh, it smells so good. And I cannot be more excited about this next one. You guys, I found a mini. I got a little minion ball. I have wanted these forever. I haven't seen one until yesterday. And basically, from what I hear, these are like little Minion Shopkins. They are Bob Moose toys, and it almost reminds me of the little Shopkins, like the Christmas ornament. Oh, these are so miniature. Check them out. Uh oh we better get Gru. And if we don't get Gru, we better get that little puppy dog. Yeah, she. This looks like Shopkins. Looks like 
seconds. Adorable, adorable packaging. I'm loving the yellow. We have a collector's guide here, different categories. And you guys, I cannot wait to see this movie. I don't even know when it comes out, but I'm gonna go see it because I love the Minions ride. If you've ever been to Universal in Florida, they have the coolest ride. Let's see who we're gonna get here. Oh, we didn't get Gru, but we got Bob, my favorite minion ever. He's wearing a hula necklace and playing a baby guitar. Oh, he's so squishy. Wow, we got one of the cutest ones. I mean, I would have wanted this if I looked at the list. We got a vacation little ukulele minion. These things are cool. They're kind of squishy, and they're a lot squishier than a Shopkin. Look at that little guy. I think it's Bob. Look at his hair. Love him. No, oh, I don't want this to end. I could look at this stuff all day. So here is the final little goodie from my first ever Five Below haul. And I got this in the blind bag section. Never seen one of these. It is called Slithery. Oh, Slithery O. And it's like a little mystery Slither figure. What is this? It literally looks like a glow stick. Is it a glow stick or like what? Or like a little caterpillar? <laughs> and I have to tell you guys, such a funny thing. When I first grabbed this, I thought it was one of those glow sticks. It looks like one of those glow stick bags. But the lady told me, she's like, no, it's like a little blind bag with a caterpillar or a little worm inside. So I thought it would be cool. Let's check it out. Let's see what's in here. Here goes, everybody. Let's pop this little slithery thing out. What? It is solid. That is so weird. All of these are all different colors, except I got a little purple one. Oh, look at those little eyes. It's kind of cute. What is it? What were the odds? I was going for one of those little rainbow ones. Some of these are really cool looking, but this one is kind of plain and I'm trying to figure out, you know what this looks like? A little telephone cord, like the old style phones. It's kind of bendy, not really too squishy. It's like a hard plastic. Hmm, kind of weird. I've never seen these. I don't know, but to tell you the truth, I kind of like it. I'm gonna go back and try to get a couple more of these. Little worm. Weird. Oh, this is cool. They have a little American flag one and like rainbow colors. These are weird. A lot of crazy stuff here. You guys, that is it. We are wrapping it up. My first F5 Below haul. Leave me a comment. Let me know if you liked it, if you want me to do more of these. And what was your favorite thing out of all of this stuff? I have to say my favorite was this little putty guy. So, so cute. Never seen anything like it. And, ooh, I like the fidget spinner too. We are gonna have so many more fun videos coming up on the show. We're gonna have hauls, we're gonna have lip balm, squishy, you name it. We are Bubble Pop Kids, and if you wanna subscribe to our channel, just click this big yellow bubble with the bubble gum machine and subscribe. Have a great day, you guys. Bye.